turbine. Um, as I said, during a maintenance, we'll ensure we'll do a visual inspection from the top of the turbine, inspecting to see if there are any cracks, any signs of damage or lightning strikes that may have occurred uh, since the last maintenance period. It's important to check the blades to make sure that um, they have full uh, structural strength to them. Uh, if they were to fail, it could bring down the turbine for a uh, long period of time. Um, and also mentioned on the top of the nacelle is the FAA light uh, that is used for traffic or for air traffic airplanes to notify them that there is a wind farm located um, in the U.S. Uh, these are located around uh, the perimeter of uh, most wind farms to signal that there are uh, wind turbines ranging between 65 meters and 100 meters located in that range uh, that allows air traffic to stay clear of that. Uh, this will be tested to make sure that uh, it is functioning properly, that it is displaying the right time signal for the light, um, and that it is uh, receiving uh, all controls to the inside of the turbine as well. We'll also look at uh, the wind vane and anemometer that is located at the back of the cell. Uh, this is used for determining both the speed and direction of the wind. We want to make sure that the units are able to turn freely, they're mounted, and there is no sign of rust or wear on the units, um, and that they will uh, respond uh, when wind is uh, blowing past them. And we can see that today on this uh, gorgeous day in north central Iowa. We have blades of the turbine. Um, as I said, during a maintenance, we'll ensure we'll do a visual inspection from the top of the turbine, inspecting to see if there are any cracks any signs of damage or lightning strikes that may have occurred uh, since the last maintenance period. It's important to check the blades to make sure that um, they have full uh, structures uh, receiving uh, all controls to the inside of the turbine as well. We'll also look at uh, the wind vane and anemometer that is located at the back of the cell. Uh, this is used for determining both the speed and direction of the wind. We want to make sure that the units are able to turn freely. Um, and that it is. 